welcome to Mind Your Business, a channel where we are in a everybody business. If you don't mind getting in people's business, you're on the right channel. Talking about current topics and gossip. Well, Grand Tipple, my crazy crew, let's talk about Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Now, we've all seen that mix up with Kurt and Rashida. Most people have come to the conclusion that, you know, it's given bullshit and Rashida, if you want to stay there throughout the nonsense and that's your business, you stay there, whatever. Um, I'm kind of over those two, quite honestly. Well, fast forward to the most recent episode. You've got obviously Spice working on this new album that she wants to do, this cast album, which I think is a good idea because really it's love and hip hop and we hardly see them in the studio. So that's a good thing. But, you know, of course, it's going to be messy because it's love and hip hop. You've got, you know, these diss tracks, this Amy with this diss track, You've got Sierra, obviously, Vex about this diss track, so now she wants to do a diss track. Chaotic is happy to help her because he's not happy that Amy is moving to Scrappy and Scrappy's moving to Amy because, obviously, Scrappy was his friend. They've fallen out over this whole YouTube channel situation and Scrappy not putting his weight. And you can kind of see that because Chaotic is definitely chaotic, but he's on his on his grind when it comes to getting his business done. You can see that. So, And I do feel like they were a good duo. I'd like to see them back on good terms. But, yeah, Scrappy needs to just, you know, fix up when it comes to that. But anyway, so, yeah, Chaotic's helping Sierra with this diss track and helping direct her video. And she's all vexed that she's not included in this album. I'm like, you just decided to become a, a rapper yesterday. I don't understand what's going on. Anyway, Sierra's, you know, doing her video. She thinks everyone's hating on her. And like I said, I feel like people just looking at her like, uh, we didn't know you wanted to do music. This just happened, like, yesterday. Like, come on now. Okay. Fair enough, you want to do your thing, do your thing, but you can't be even vex when people don't even know you used to do music or that you wanted to do music or that you're doing music. Anyway, uh, in other news, you've got Jock, who set up this meeting with his wife, Kendra, and she's obviously vexed about this video that went viral with him and this woman that he works with, Mo, and how close they were when they were apparently, you know, she was apparently vexed about something. But of course, Kendra's not happy about the video going viral. And we saw her, if you saw it on all the social sites, you would have seen that he was talking about his wife wants to divorce him because she's, she told her mum that she wanted to divorce. But anyway, she's still there, as we know. Now, I do think that this Mo and Jock situation is looking very sus because she's very, obviously they've been friends for a long time. He says that they're business partners. But the way she was going on, I was a bit like, mm, it's given something happened between you two. That's what it's given. And of course, Kendra comes out when when he sets up the meeting and Kendra comes out, comes outside to talk to Mo. You know, she comes straight firing and vexed that she didn't reach out to her because, you know, it's been all over the blog. She's like, why didn't you message me and say, yo, like, don't worry about nothing. You know, I'm sorry it got to the blogs or whatever. So this girl doesn't feel like she should have messaged her. I think that she could have messaged her if they were on good terms. There's no reason why she couldn't have messaged her. But also Kendra, if she's so bothered, could have messaged the girl too. And said, yo, like, I'm not comfortable with this situation. Or, you know, she, said, she should have just said something. But it says she's flying off the handle here. Jock is in the middle trying to calm things down. It ain't going too good. But I just thought that the other girl, Mo, was quite disrespectful when she chatted about, yeah, I could have your man. <laughs> and I'm just like, uh, Jock, that's your point to be correcting her. But he wasn't. He was pushing Kendra away. He was kicking off. It was just a whole hot mess. I'm just like, from her saying she can have your man again, eyebrows raised it's given you know things are gone or things were gone in between them two before in the past because yeah it's definitely given that vibe but jock has always been messy so ain't nothing surprising over here there's always something with their storyline last time it was due the, the the most latest child now it's this mix up now we all know jock's very messy right but kendra you really know that you chose a man who has enough children to fill up a, a football team so you know, you have to just accept some of the stuff that comes with him. Her screaming and hollering in his face is just, just too much. I don't know how he copes and she copes because that's just too much. Isn't it giving you a headache? And I'm like, are you being held hostage? Like, is there a reason why you, you just won't just go off and, you know, do your own thing? Because you're talking about he's making you look like a fool. At this point, you're making yourself look very foolish on TV shouting and carrying on i'm just like seriously love you're giving yourself a headache it's not that serious you can just pop off in it like you could just be like you know what i don't need this i don't have any children i've got nothing tired i can just make moves and not have the headache but instead you stay and you stay and then you complain so at this point i'm just like please love please just give me a headache anyway moving on obviously we see spice trying to set up this 
this whole uh, rehearsal situation. She's got Yandy helping her set up a get together with all of them that meant to be on this cast album. And of course, it's just looking like a hot mess. You know, Bambi's like, well, what the hell's going on? I'm here about this Amy, you know, doing this track against me. And isn't she now with you, Scrappy, basically? And Scrappy's still looking around like he doesn't know what's going on. Spice talking about the list, let's get to rehearsing, let's get to rehearsal. Young, just jocks talking about what are we rehearsing and just like, what the hell is going on? Either people have the track or they don't. So I'm like, okay, she's doing it like a, like they do it in Jamaica, like the way they have the one rhythm and they've got different artists on the rhythm. And I like that, I like that concept. But I don't know that everybody is ready. We see uh, Chaotic was definitely ready. Scrappy's chatting about it. He ain't ready. He ain't finished his stuff because he's just looking like, oh, okay, everyone's got it together. Amy's up there dissing Bambi. I'm just like, Amy, you're doing the most. You are doing the most. I just don't understand it. So I had to pick up when Bambi got on stage and she would have heard this track to Amy. I was like, okay, well, there you go. <laughs> she definitely came to diss her too. So I was just like, this is looking crazy. Absolutely crazy. But I thought it was um, interesting that Spice actually wants to go and do a show and go on tour. And to me, it makes sense. They're loving hip-hop. I feel like they should have been done this already. Like, it should have happened. Like, how come no one's thought to go and do something with the amount of artists that have been on the show? So, good on Spice for doing that and, you know, trying to get them all together to, to actually do music. Now, one thing I will say, though, is... Looking at Sierra's video and her rapping and then watching Bambi and Amy and Rashida do their sort of live rehearsal at Spice's rehearsal. Uh, Sierra came across quite well, actually. She's reminding me of a, of a young Miami in her voice, you know, that kind of high, kind of squeaky voice. But she actually sounded good. And she actually sounded better than Bambi because I was like, Bambi, uh, delivery wasn't on point. But we know it's a rehearsal. We'll see what happens with this, with this whole tour like i said it's a good idea i don't know how much fandom they have in terms of their music but we all know spice is known for her her music i feel like chaotic chaotic came with a good vibe other than that i want to see what else happens amy is on this dissing track business which i just think is you know what is all this over the man that clearly isn't claiming you anyway but anyway so i'll stay tuned and see where i go on but what do you people think of the show of course, I had to check out social media and see what people were saying on there. So here are some tweets that had me cracking up. And sorry, my inquisitive crew, my native people them, because I have been trying to get some videos out, but I have been faced with technical issues like nobody's business. I'm like, seriously, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. But trust me, it has been giving me run for my money. But thank the Lord that I am now back up and running. Hence why I have been slightly delayed with these videos. Anyway, I hope everyone is blessed and taking good care of themselves. Okay, so you've heard what I've had to say. You've seen what some of the people had to say online, the viewers. So what are you saying about the show? What do you think of the most recent episode and all the mix-up that's been happening? Let me know your thoughts below. Yes, so thanks for watching that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share and hit that notification bell so you know when I am uploading some more of people's business. So until then, my nosy people, stay blessed.